How's it going guys? I'm Connor from Running Warehouse and today we got a very special video for you. We brought all of your favorite running shoe influencers, running shoe reviewers into one building to talk about their favorite running shoes over the past year. These reviewers have tested pretty much everything that's come to market and even a few shoes that are not out yet. These reviewers know their stuff. Let's see what the best shoes are of the year. All right, first category of the day is the top daily trainer. First on up, we got Meg. Meg, you've been putting in the miles, training for I don't know how many marathons this year. What's gonna be your top daily trainer? So my top daily trainer is the New Balance SC Trainer, aptly named. I have put hundreds and hundreds of miles on this shoe. It's one of those shoes where I just keep going back to, like sometimes I'll forget about it for a week or two and then I go back and put it back on and I remember why I love it so much. You have this fuel cell midsole foam that is bouncy, it's responsive. You have a full carbon plate, which I know some people don't love for daily trainers, but I think it works for me. Um, it gives you that extra little bounce. And also the recovery after your runs just feels great. All right, next on up, we got Drew from Wear Testers. Drew, you might be the tallest guy at every marathon starting line this past year. And as a big guy, you need a shoe that's got that cushioning to go the distance. What's your top daily trainer? So my top daily trainer is the Nova Blast 3. And I know some of you are saying, well, the stack isn't all that high, but this Flight Foam Blast Plus is so bouncy. I just love it, works great with my stride. I know I've heard some complaints about the traction, but when you're 6'6 and almost 200 pounds, guess what? You're sticking that to the ground no matter what. So I haven't had any problems there. Love the upper, it's super comfy, and I've recommended this shoe to so many people. They come back, they tell me it's great. So I feel like this is top of the line as far as daily trainer goes. All right, next on up, we got Emily from Run Like Heller. Emily, you came off your marathon. You said you're maybe not getting quite as much miles as before, but you're building up hot. What's gonna be your top daily trainer? Well, my daily trainer right now for all of the easy miles that I'm putting in is the Fresh Foam War V4 from New Balance. Basically, this shoe feels a lot lighter than it should for all of the cush that it has. And when you wanna go easy and you wanna just take it slow, I think this is like the perfect option. It has a little bit of a rocker as well. So I feel like the turnover isn't so bad and the upper is just really comfortable. So I've been really loving it. All right, next on up, we got David from Doctors of Running. You might just be the fastest doctor in the country. I don't know, you're definitely the most knowledgeable <laughs> when it comes to shoes. What's gonna be your top daily trainer? All right, Connor, my daily trainer for me is the On Cloud Monster. The On Cloud Monster has been a shoe that I have found myself just reaching for. On my shelf of shoes that I have, I have a little category of the shoes that might get awards on the top, a bunch of things I'm reviewing, and then a bunch of other stuff on the bottom that no one can see when I'm recording. This is always on the top because it might always get an award for me. It's surprisingly nimble for how much shoe there is. I've been able to take it on pretty much any kind of terrain for the most part outside of technical trails. And so it's something for me, easy days are rhythmic, they're slow, they're relaxing. And this gives me that high stacker, high stack rocker ride that has a little bit of flexibility as well. So not quite as stiff as some of the other shoes out there. All right, last on up, but certainly not least, we've got the wide-footed wonder, Jarrett from Believe in the Run. Jarrett, you're putting in those quiet miles, getting closer and closer to take out Meg at your next marathon. What is gonna be your daily trainer of choice? For daily trainer of choice, I'm going with the A6 Nimbus 25. I mean, this is just phenomenal. With this 40 plus millimeter stack height of a Flight Foam Blast Plus, you've got the cushion, you've got the softness. And I mean, this is like no other Nimbus that I've run and it really feels great. And as ASICS always has, the upper fits phenomenally. Comes in wide, so you know what? I mean, how could you not go with something like this? All right, Meg, daily trainers are fun, but some days we want to pick it up a little bit more, have a little bit more versatility to do it all. What's your best versatile shoe? I have to go with the ASICS Super Blast. So this shoe, like you said, great for picking up the pace. It also works for those easy days. You've got a ton of stack underfoot. You've got this turbo foam, so the same stuff that they're putting in their race day shoes, but without the plate, so not quite as harsh. It just works for any distance, any pace. All right, Drew, next on up, most versatile shoe, what's your pick? My most versatile is the Super Blast. Just like Meg, I love this shoe for all kinds of things, but, I have a little bit of a different use case. 
because of being a bigger runner, this high stack height really pays dividends the next day. So then I can use it doing all sorts of things. I even paste Kafusi, it's CIM in December and wore this, felt great the next day. All right, Jared, next category is most versatile shoe. What's your pick? Dude, I'm pulling the New Balance Fuel Cell SC Trainer in wide, of course, you know. I know Meg said that this was her best daily trainer, but I don't know what she knows. So I'm pulling this as the most versatile. I put over 300 miles in my pair. I was using it for long runs. I was using it for easy days. I, you know, even put in some fast uh, tempo work in them and they felt so good no matter what. I love it, I really do. And that's why I would use it for anything. All right, David, you know the drill. What's gonna be your top versatile shoe? Yeah, versatility, one of my favorite categories. My shoe is one that doesn't really come to the thoughts of many people when you think versatile, but mine is the Topo Cyclone 2. This is a shoe that's lightweight, it's nimble, it does have a P-Bax midsole throughout. It's a little bit flexible, but still has a little bit of rigidity. It's a shoe that I've been able to take on the track, run hard, hit hills, do daily runs in. I've even been able to go upwards of 15 miles in this shoe. So. It's a shoe that I can pretty much do anything I want in, and if I have to travel and only take one shoe with me, this most likely will be the shoe that I take with me. All right, Emily, next one up, we got most versatile shoe. What's in your arsenal? Well, this has been seen a few times today, but I'm bringing it back out because my favorite pick is the New Balance SC Trainer. Um, I found it really hard to run in other shoes and review other shoes when I had this because all I wanted to do was run in this shoe. I did all of my marathon training pretty much in last summer in this shoe, and I even ran the marathon that I did in October in it. It's maybe a little heavy for some for a marathon, but I found it really comfortable and my legs the next day felt fresh. All right, Meg, you got a 247 marathon PR. You're faster than me. What's your shoe come race day? My pick is the Saucony Pro 3. So I absolutely love this shoe. You've got a full carbon fiber plate. You've got a bunch of this um, soft, cushiony midsole foam. And I have tried the Endorphin Elite, which I also really like, but I found that this one was just a touch softer, which is my preference, especially when you're going the marathon distance. All right, Drew, come race day. Everyone's seen you running down that home stretch. What's gonna be your top racer? Well, my top racer is very new. It's the Endorphin Elite. I actually just a week and a half ago set my 10K PR in this shoe. Uh, I like the extra firmness compared to the Pro 3. I think for someone bigger like myself, it really makes a difference. It's a little bit of extra cushion for the push-in, if you know what I mean. And so, very breathable. This was a cold race, so I would really recommend this on hot days as well. But another thing, if you have Achilles issues or if you have pain across the back of your heel, this may be the best race shoe in terms of not putting a big thick heel counter right on your heel bone. So I think there's a lot to love about this shoe. I didn't even get into how the carbon plate is, you know, kind of angled and segmented at the toe, but I think all of those things make this just an amazing shoe. All right, Emily, when it comes to race day, when you want to pick up the pace, what is your shoe choice? It's going to have to be the Saucony Endorphin Pro 3. I think this is a major improvement over the previous Endorphin Pros. It's a lot more comfortable. I feel like it's cushier. And not only have I been racing in it for like 10Ks and 5Ks, but I've also been doing a lot of tempo work in it, and I feel like uh, I really love it for that as well. All right, Jarrett, next category is gonna be top racer. What's your pick? For race day, I'm pulling out the New Balance SC Elite V3. I ran New York City Marathon in this shoe. I went the full marathon distance. My legs were not beat up the next day. And I mean, what more could you want in a race day shoe? Uh, it comes in wide again. Um, and I don't know, that carbon plate pop, it, it's real. All right, David, as the fastest runner of the influencers, I gotta know, what's your race pick? Yeah, so my race day pick is the Saucony Endorphin Elite. A lot of the new shoes that have been coming out have had these real soft compliant foams and they are bouncy, they are responsive, but I actually really enjoy the new Power Run HG foam in the Endorphin Elite. A little bit firmer, but it has a little bit more balance and resilience to it. And the really sharp toe spring up front just works really well for my mechanics when I'm running fast but still rhythmic and I can control the pace. So it's something that I feel like I can dictate how I want to run in the shoe and it stays responsive and I've had multiple runs over 20 miles in this shoe already and I'll be 
hoping to set a new marathon PR in the next couple weeks. All right, Meg, we talked all about your favorite road shoes. You know, now that I think about it, I don't think I've ever not seen you running on the road, but when it comes to trail day, what's your pick? So my pick for trail day, which happens not very often, is the Hoka Tecton X. I did go to Lake Tahoe last year, ran on all sorts of trails, and this worked for all of them. It's light, it's got a nice midsole foam here, so it's kind of cushiony. You do have some decent lugs, so great traction. And yeah, I just found it worked on all sorts of trails. All right, Emily, from the roads to the trail, what's gonna be your top trail shoe? My favorite trail shoe right now is the Saucony Ride 15 TR. Um, I really like the Ride 15 as well. Um, it's one of my other favorite shoes. And this is pretty much that shoe with lugs. <laughs> so I don't run a ton of trails, but when I do, I like to take this out. I feel like a trail shoe for me, I like it to be a little bit lower to the ground and I feel like that's what I'm getting here. Uh, so the, for the very not so technical trails that I'm running on, this seems to work pretty well. All right, David, when we hit the trails, I know you got something fast for us. What's your top trail shoe? Yeah, so my trail shoe will be the Saucony Endorphin Edge. It's a shoe that I feel like I can take at pretty much any pace I like these days. I'm spending a little bit more time on the track and on the roads, but I do get out on the trails every once in a while. Um, lugs are good and grippy, but they're not so aggressive. You can't run, you know, flat, or like good footed trails or technical trails. You could do a little bit of both. The midsole is very forgiving. It does have a plate in there and that speed roll and rocker just feel nice for long mileage. All right, Drew, finish us on off with your top trail shoe. Since moving to the Atlanta, Georgia area, I've gotten the chance to run a lot of trails. And when you run long on the trails, you just need a lot of cushion. And I find the Caldera 6 does an amazing job of that. Look at that thick stack of DNA Loft V3. It is just really comfortable. Even though there's no rock plate, you can't feel the rocks. I mean, you feel there's something there, but it's also surprisingly stable because you do sit inside the foam. So I really like this. It's just for me, you know, those longer trail efforts, just so perfect. So you heard from the experts, some great running shoe picks, but were they right? Were they wrong? Let us know in the comments below. And of course, if you're looking for any of these shoes, you can find them at runningwarehouse.com. Thank you.